Hi again. In this lesson, we're going to learn and understand the working principle of motor and dynamo. So firstly, what is a motor and what is a dynamo? So, motor is a device which provides kinetic energy when electrical energy is supplied. Whereas, for dynamo, it's a device which provides electrical energy when a kinetic energy is supplied. So basically, we can find motor in stuff like toy cars. Or, we can find it from clocks. Yes. So in toy cars, you can see, when you insert the battery, you can cause the rotation of the wheel. And whereas for clocks, when you put in a battery, it provides electrical energy and then it provides the motion of circular motion of the needle. So, whereas for dynamo, where can you find it? Very commonly, you can find it from bicycle. Yes. Why do we need dynamo in bicycle? So maybe during night time, you want to cycle and uh, cycle to somewhere else and you need a light energy to show the pathway of cycling. So, when the wheel is rotating, it can provide kinetic energy and then using a dynamo, it can convert to electrical energy. So, from the electrical energy, you can provide the light energy in the lamp. What is actually the secret behind these devices? So, the secret behind these devices is something called a catapult field. So what is a catapult field? Catapult field is the resultant field of two interacting Magnetic field. So, the two magnetic fields we mentioned here, what are the two magnetic fields? The first one is a magnetic field due to a permanent magnet. And the second field is the magnetic field caused by a current carrying conductor. So what is the current carrying conductor? Which, which we normally use? It can be a wire. A wire is a conductor which carries a current. So I'm going to show you um, how is this catapult field works. So in this diagram, we can see two permanent magnets. One which is a north pole, another one is a south pole. So when two permanent magnets like this exist, the magnetic field lines will look like this. Parallel to the surface. And the direction, don't forget, is to north to south. So, pointing from north to south. So, this is the magnetic field of a permanent magnet. And the next one is the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor. So, this represents a wire. 
So, when there is a dot inside the wire, it indicates the current is moving out from the paper. So, how will the magnetic field look like? So, it will be a round shape around the wire. And we learned before the right hand grip rule when the current is moving in this direction. So the current will be moving in this direction. So arrow here, rotate, going back, and this direction again. So it will be the magnetic field will be in this direction. So here comes the special part. When we have two interacting magnetic fields. So the first magnetic field we know is from the permanent magnet. The second magnetic field is from the current carrying conductor, in this case the wire. So when two magnetic fields are interacting, so which means I put the wire in between the permanent magnets. So same thing, north pole, south pole. And we, I draw a wire in between. The same direction, the current is in this way, moving out from the paper. So we know that from the magnetic field, the permanent magnet, the magnetic field will be moving as a straight line from north to south. Whereas for the wire, it will be in this direction. So if I put this inside this, you can see that the part here, the magnetic field, the direction of magnetic field will be the same as the magnetic field from the permanent magnet. And the magnetic field direction from here will be the opposite direction of the permanent magnet. So, as we know that, um, when two forces when two forces are opposing each other, so the force will be lesser. So same thing applies to the magnetic field. So in this part, the magnetic field will be weaker. And the magnetic field from here, this part, will be stronger. So the resultant magnetic field, which is the catapult field, will look like this. This part is not affected by the wire, so it remains as a straight line. So for this one, it's slightly affected by the wire, so it will be curved like this. And from starting from here, it will be affected more by the wire. Same applies. So, the further it is, the lesser the effect. So, at this point, it will, be, it will not be affected by the wire. So, you can see that more magnetic fields are concentrated at this position, and less magnetic fields are concentrated in this position. So, when, this, when the air area here has more magnetic field lines and this section has less magnetic field lines, it will cause a resultant force upwards. So the motion of the wire will be moving upwards. So this is how you convert an electrical energy to a kinetic energy. So that's it for this part, the introduction of a catapult field, and we'll learn more for motor and dynamo in next video. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the, my, our next video. Thank you.